In this video, I want to show you how you can smoothly animate your health bar and also animate a max health label. In my health UI, I just have a control node that has a layout anchor of top left. I'm going to add a texture progress bar. And then inside the texture progress bar, I'm going to add a label. I'm going to call this health bar. And I'm going to call my label max health. For the health bar, I'm going to make sure it's selected. And then over in the inspector, I'm going to keep the defaults of max value step and then fill mode of left to right. Let's go into textures. I'm going to set the under to this asset and then I'm going to set the progress to this one. I will leave a link in the description to the assets in this video. So for my progress offset, I'm going to set it to 84 of an X and 44 of a Y. I'm going to click on my label. I'm going to set the text just to zero. We're going to programmatically change this. I'm going to go down to layout and transform. I'm going to set the position to 31 and 45. Back at the top, I'm going to set the horizontal alignment to center. I'm going to go down to theme overrides and click on colors. I'm going to add a font shadow. I'm just going to keep it black. And then for font size, I'm going to make it 24. Then we can save that. Here in our health UI script, we're going to reference to our health bar and our max health label. Health bar and max health label. We're creating a variable to keep track of our previous health. And then we have getters and setters for max health and health. In our ready function, we are just connecting to the on max health change and on health changed. If you want to learn more about how this complete health controller works, I created a video on that and I'll leave a link in the description. In our set health, we are setting the pass in value to the health. And then we're creating a tween. And then we're going to tween the value property of our health bar. So if we go into health bar, this value right here is what we're tweening. So what that would look like is if you go back to 2D and click on the value and we can just raise and lower it, this is what's gonna happen. Let's set that back to zero because we're gonna programmatically change it. So we're tweening the health bar, we're tweening its value property. And then the value that we wanna set it to is the value that's passed into set health. And then we're saying for the duration, we want it to take one second. And then we're setting a transition type of trans sign and then we're setting a delay of half a second. The get health function is just returning the health. The set max health, setting the max health to the value that's passed in. We are updating the health bar's max value. So again, if you're in health bar and inspector, you remember we set the max value to 100 with steps of one. So if our max health goes up, we need to set the max value that's allowed on the health bar. Again, we're creating a tween. This time we're gonna call tween method and we're gonna pass in a function of update max health label. We're going to pass the tween method what the previous health was and then what the current health is. And then like before, we're going to set a duration value of one second. And then lastly, we're going to set the previous health to the current health. So on our update max health label, we're receiving a value of int and then we're setting the max health label text to that value. So if we go to our max health, go up to the top, we're changing this label. Right now it's just zero by default. This tween method is going to call this function and it's going to animate from the previous health to the current health. And then we just have a get max health, which is returning the max health. And then we have our functions for our event signals that we're connecting to from our health controller. Let's go ahead and run this and see what this looks like. You can see we animate from 0 to 100 the max health. And then we also animate the filling up of the life bar. I'm going to do that again right on load. So this little sprite here is going to give 25 damage. The silver hearts are going to heal 25. And then the gold hearts are going to heal fully and increase the max health. So you can see our player took damage of 25. And then we healed 25. Let's hurt ourselves a couple times. And then we'll avoid these hearts and get the gold heart. You can see it animated from 100 to 150 for the max health going up, and then it healed us. Again, we can see heal. Well, I suppose.